Yes. 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 <laughs> well, <laughs> you had one job, and that was to yes and. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes and. Yes and. Yes. <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> to fight. To fight. <laughs> We're off to that. I'll do whatever that you want, but I'm going to fight. Go <laughs> oh, do it. Now all I want to talk about is the hypothetical Sean Connery improv like performance. Like you think some of it was improv? You. Oh no, no! You're saying you want to see Sean Connery improv? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I yeah, said we should fight. I, I, I'm Ben Sean Connery. I need a location. <laughs> see Niall with the last. I don't uh, like to articulate. <laughs> welcome to the Spark of Madness live podcast. We're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry for listening. <laughs> um, we're going to continue our sort of medieval Sean Connery theme. Yeah, it's a Connery party. In, in, in our, in our tie-in with Game of Thrones. And Game of Thrones, that's right. Next uh, week, Highlander. <laughs> yeah, next week, Highlander. Yeah, where Sean Connery plays... Uh, a Spaniard, and he's yeah. really the most Scottish guy there. Well, he uh, he plays a British in this movie, so yeah. Yes, yes. Did they say Britons? I forget. That's true. You're right. I but, I prefer British. He's, he's a still, British. He's, he's still a fr- he's a well, British. Well, you know what? He's still he's still part of the British Isles and and whatnot. You yeah, know? but I think Scotland wasn't happy about that. No, but. Richard Gere was clearly American. Yeah, Richard Gere didn't even bother. <laughs> By the way, we're going to do, uh, if it's not obvious, we're going to do the first night. <laughs> it's not. Sorry. You good? Are you yeah. finished? Yeah. All right. It was a little bit animated, but yes. Little, okay. Yes. Um, the first night it's came not out. not the first. <laughs> Dear God, get it. A... So I had to get it out. I hope you maxed out. It is not everybody. the first night. It is first night. And There's why no is the? my camera out of focus? I'm going to fix this. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, um, I should click away from my so camera. So this was 1995, <laughs> right? Yes, it Six was. or 95, I think. Yeah, no, I, uh, I wrote it down. I shouldn't be asking. <laughs> oh, yeah, July 1995. Wow. wow. I've got the data. <laughs> I clearly. <laughs> He's got the information. My brain is clearly superior. First night came out in July 1995. <laughs> um, but before we get into the movie, <laughs> I actually want to call out that we were <laughs> so last week. We did Dragonheart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we uh, and I was <laughs> we were tagged in, somebody found the podcast, I guess, and tagged us in this campaign, hashtag remake Dragonheart. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you probably should, guys. <laughs> beep, beep. You know, I wish they would have done that for the Rocketeer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, that, yeah. That, 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 that's that's, that's what loyal I loyal following. That's the one I, there is a, there's a loyal following. But there's like seven, there's already like seven Dragonheart movies after the main one. Uh, ben, <laughs> that's true, but there's only one Rocketeer. Yeah. Ben, believe it or not, I was in uh, a message board thread earlier. That, come on, focus camera. Do do me some do me some good. Thank there you, you go. Hey, handsome man there. It was on auto. Okay. I was in a message board thread and someone's, uh, they were talking about superhero movies and then someone came in and was like, you guys are stupid. Rocketeer is the best cape movie, and uh, they're not terribly off. They aren't. They aren't. Yeah. So it gets love. It does get love. Well, you need to start a hashtag campaign. No. Hashtag remake, remake Dragonheart. How about, <laughs> <laughs> how about hashtag remake Mario Brothers? That's, I think that's... Leave it alone. Oh, I know. I'm going to make it someday. Mock my words, citizens. Citizens. Well, let's uh, pivot. Abruptly, back to what we're supposed to be. Can you get the about. sneaker noise going? Yeah. Like the sneaker basketball noise. I don't. I don't have one of those. <laughs> have, uh, eat. There we go. There Bro, go. Me. Uh, so first night. <laughs> first what? night. Uh, first night. So I don't really know that much about Camel. I like Camelot, King Arthur, Lance. Like the, I don't think it's true lore. to the book at all. It's not true to the story. Like the other than Lancelot and Guinevere. The characters that are in the movie were in the story, but there's yeah. not like a. A love triangle. Or no, anything? that is true to the book. That is the love triangle between Guinevere, Lancelot. Oh. That's true. I was going to give him credit during the good that that was. <laughs> no, that's, that was an interesting no, that, idea. Like even I the guess. musical. Well, I don't know if it's true to the book. I think it is true to the book. I know it's true to the musical uh, Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> We're basically so off of the it music. is. I don't uh, read. <laughs> but basically, this movie follows. Uh, not renegade Lancelot, but loner Lancelot. Yeah, but Richard Gere <laughs> wandering around until he finds what he's looking for. He find, yes, he finally finds what he's looking for in Guinevere, who is set to marry 
uh, <laughs> King Arthur, who is Sean Connery. Yes. And the, the there's a bad guy who defected from the Knights of the Round Table named Malagant? Malagant. Yeah, they may as Malagant. well have like... He sounds like a, a the, the return uh, the return of a biopsy or something. <laughs> they should have just named him. <laughs> I thought they were trying to do like a like a pun on malignant or something. Yeah, that's and, and then Lancelot like, should have been benign. Speaking as <laughs> <laughs> so you're okay a lot. <laughs> so you're gonna live a lot. We got the results back. The law will judge you. Speaking of benign, I love you. <laughs> I was a loving king. I love uh, everybody. Maligant played by uh, Spock's dad in the new movie. Yep. What? Yep. Yeah. Yep. In the, I the did the not new know. He, I, what's his name? Don't you know. You guys should know. His yeah. name is, oh wait, the, the, the actual name of Spock's character. dad? Yeah. Uh, Sarek. Uh, Sarek. The yeah, new Sarek. Star Trek Sarek, movies? Yeah. Don't ask me how I know it. They're, I've only it's, seen e- the one... all of Star Trek lore because there's the Spock dad, the originals too. Okay. He also played a Romulan once too in the old TV series. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, <laughs> I like... couldn't sleep by myself tonight. <laughs> new... Guys, let's play him off. That's a new character. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me. Your hash, your, just please your don't play the music. Don't ask okay. me how I know don't that. Don't ask me how I know that. I just have a lot of time well, on my actually, head and no girlfriend. Uh, yeah, yeah, you you nailed it right there. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you got uh, that for a slice of pizza. So, <laughs> Maligant's just trying to, like... Maligant? We can get into his motivations. No. Like, why he's, but that's basically the movie, is that there's a love triangle, and then there's a bad guy. And that's the bad it. guy wants his own country and yeah, all that. Yeah, he wants to take over. He wants to be the law. I am yeah. above the law. <laughs> I am the law. I am the law. Oh, yeah. I am the law. He's basically dread. I am yeah. Maligant. I am the law. Okay. Yeah, he was. That's, that, that's not that bad. I'm a law judge, judge, executioner. You basically to do. You, know, you, you, you serve just a false to... tyrannical god. You have to serve like you. You're going to serve me. You got marbles in your mouth. You got marbles. You, can do, you just don't really care if people hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, this is going to be a good bad dog. Let's start with the good. <laughs> oh, baby. The good. The Oh, one of these days I'm going to time it. Ready? Time up. You'll oh, never fuck. do it. <laughs> We're on um, a delay here. You'll never manage it. So, uh, the good. Um, where do you guys want to start? I think some of the... Well... <laughs> you want me to go? Yeah! <laughs> no! Is that, is that an indication that you didn't find much good? Oh, I found good. Just... Okay, all right. He's very tired right now. It was enjoyable. I thought it was enjoyable, too. Uh, I liked... Um, the sword play was well done in a lot of places. It yes. um, it didn't look like they were just slapping yeah, yeah. their 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 swords together. Can we talk about Lancelot's like signature move? Yes, that was what I was getting into. His little like whack, steal your sword. His, mm-hmm. his de- disarming move. It's the, it, they 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 tied back to it at the beginning, the end. <laughs> See, it's good. I like that because they set it up in the very first moment, when he and the then patient. it pays off at the very end. And it's kind of memorable, I think. Yes. Like, it's not like, I'm just really good at swords. It was like... How did he do that? How did he do it? Oh. Oh. He's just got no fear of de- life and yeah. death. When the guy asks him, how did you do that? And then he's like, you have to not care if you live or die. <laughs> Super wow. dark, man. Great explanation. <laughs> I feel like I got all the info. I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. <laughs> The things about me you couldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> things you shouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. Matt, please back, take back over. All right, here we go. <laughs> back on track. Um, I did like the... Uh, I liked some of the darker moments, again, just kind of like Dragonheart. I like that it went kind of dark. Like, almost immediately there was a raiding and pillaging scene, and there were two guys on horses dragging a pregnant woman. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? I, I, I metal. Yeah. Was she face down or face up? She was basically just, like, kind of okay. like waddling back and forth. Do you like here? Like there, you there, there you go. There's, a, there's your Kermit the Frog impression for the yeah. day. Yeah. You um, bow, bow down before me. But yeah, that was that was. I liked that. I liked the um, <laughs> as you said, like you have to not care if you live or die. A man fears me, me, a man who fears nothing loves nothing. A man who fears nothing uh, loves nothing. And then, like when we see Lancelot, sort of, 
his motivation for his entire character was that his family was burned alive in a church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh I missed that. Okay, so when I was watching that, here's my question with that part. He has the flashback, but does he tell her that it was a church? I don't think he does no, tells anyone. You're right. And she goes, <laughs> she mentioned that, that like, she's, he's just thinking in the rain. <laughs> he kind of just like, ignores her. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> he doesn't so say anything. Right. He, he doesn't say anything about his family. He, he, he just sits there and zones out. Minutes. It's okay. Like, Your family, like, like, yes. yeah. <laughs> so it's like, uh, like, like that's what she'd be more concerned about, about her, her telepathy. Yeah. But <laughs> that, that's what that's Guinevere's what, like X Men powers. <laughs> I was like, she didn't tell him. Like, well, no. What happened? I didn't have time is, to rewind it. I was like, oh, man. she was she was just sitting there while he was zoning out, and all of a sudden, by the way, we should bone. Yeah. <laughs> What, why did we stop? I'm tired. That's like that was so of the whole movie. I'm tired. Boing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do the like too tired suggestive, for that. The suggestive like phallic dripping water through the leaf right into her it's mouth. It's only suggestive because you want it to be <laughs> minty fresh. <laughs> but then she's like, what well, was actually not even like the sexual tension of the seed, but like. She, who asked, like, where did you learn to do that? Like, what? Collect water in <laughs> yeah. a, in a, in a, in a This is a thousand years a ago. That was practically magic. He, he, he's like, well, I just saw this now. <laughs> these there water. water hey, this was convenient. In this leaf and uh, I two, learned it by not two being two a freaking ago, idiot. She dumb never idiot. Heard, heard of the fucking cup? Like, what You're the? amazing. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. God. Uh, can I can I you know change uh, slot, change right? our rails here for a second? Yeah, I have a slight yeah. slightly short story. Here we go. Uh, it it goes back to when I was in high school and we were reading about King Arthur and stuff in English class. It was like junior or senior year, and they had a movie picked out that we were going to watch, and I thought it was stupid because I'd seen it. I for, I forget which one it was, but then I went up to the Eng the English teacher after class before we were going to watch it, and I was like, I have a better movie we could watch <laughs> if you if you'll entertain my thought. It's called First Night, and then the teacher comes in the next day after having reviewed it, and she's like, that was really neat. Yes, we will watch it in class. <laughs> but it's not the same. Not the same as, uh, you know. But it was cool, and it was probably just as just as true to whatever really happened you know as what's the a better, story. You know what's a better movie about King Arthur? What? The Sword in the Stone. That's a good one. That's a great movie. That's a good one. The one in Future King. But when you were laughing at, <laughs> when you were laughing at I'm Tired, that took me way back to high school because everybody in the classroom laughed at that too. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I mean, I've jumped out of a castle. I mean, I've, you know, I've saved your ass two times and I only got credit once. Don't do an accent. Richard Gere has no accent. I'm Richard Gere. He didn't bother at all. He wasn't. Ooh, guys, I have a challenge for us all. Yes. Being that this is a Richard Gere movie, we have to not talk about gerbils the entire stream. Okay. Is nobody familiar with, with the I'm joke? I'm very familiar. I wasn't thinking about it. Good. I'm, I'm just laying down it. the law. I'm a little bit out of the loop. Episode. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Stay that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I remember the other I'll dark scene. You old, uh. The other dark scene I was thinking of. It was when uh, <laughs> the first time that Guinevere is about to get kidnapped, and they're in, it was sort of like like the loot train where uh, yeah. she's running away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She gets caught, which I thought was really good. Like she hid in the plants, and like mm -hmm. any other movie would be like that was oh, that was good cinematography. Just, of, like that was a yeah. good sequence. Any other movie would be like, oh, we lost her, and they better just go, go back but to the like, castle. No, she's hiding right here. We're gonna go she's get her. Probably she's going to the, the ground, ground. yeah, bitches. So can, it, can, I, can I make one point about yeah, that yeah, scene sure, sure. before the, before you get to that part? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So this is one that I I I, I remembered. Like, oh, Christopher Nolan's not original. And this is why they're you know they're galloping in their little caravan uh, to take the princess or take Guinevere to uh, King Arthur, and then the the, hit the log, the tree that was snapped to block the road. Mm -hmm. I'm like that's the same exact scene in the Dark Knight when uh, the the semi truck was on fire and they had to go to the lower <laughs> lower oh, yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh look around, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, he, they they totally did copied. <laughs> so yeah, Christopher except... Nolan, fuck you. You're not original. <laughs> well, I you, I'm I'm. I don't know. That might be a trick that a lot of people I used. Know, I, know. I it was, just it was a good. It's, yeah. it's a good trick. Well, Christopher Nolan didn't go so far as to be like, oh, when we capture her, we're going to have the characters like talk about raping her. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good move. Whoa. Yeah. But <laughs> it was like, holy shit. That like, took that a turn. That was Richard Gere playing, playing that and guy it was for great. a fool. Yeah, no. It was, it was believable. Yeah. yeah. And it made them... It actually made the... 
the kidnappers even more menacing without like just with the assumption that this would work the, like, like that his plan mm. would work even though we haven't been given any evidence other than that that they're attacking can like, i they're e- they're actually more evil than just yeah you would think yeah 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 can i ask you a question yes what do you think about like the little the little Pistol size crossbows. They were <laughs> that, weird. That, 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 was that? Like, it, it was like was, it was like basically the guns that made people talk time. about crossbows because those they, were some tiny crossbows. They yeah. seem to but be they're like, like, little, like they're like guns. In the they seem times. to be the best weapon available, and uh-huh. everybody's using swords. But every time a crossbow is used, somebody. And I don't think yeah. crossbows of that size could produce that kind of force uh, no. to puncture somebody. So, but, but they but they used them. I don't think they used them right. Like I, I actually don't think they're that small. Of I don't think that was accurate because, because crossbows were at least three times that size. Yeah, it wouldn't work fa- like half half the time. But they used them like they were handguns. Yeah. Like it was like like that's their. How do we get pistols in medieval time? Yeah. How do we w- put knives in armor and not wear them? I guess the it was a armor little ever. flavor they decided to add in. You know. Yeah, I liked it. Some movies so, have little trademarks. So oh. continue your good. I'm sorry. I'm. I, oh, that I, was it. Yeah. So uh, I, I guess my can I say yeah, my go good ahead. then? Go Sean on. Connery. You can't I mean, go wrong. I mean, like, <laughs> like, like Sean Connery, and like he, this, this is this is what, this is what he came in to do, and it worked. It worked. You know, they, they, they said, you know what? You show you a few lines with distinction, and and purpose. Don't play a perv. Don't play a perv. <laughs> but this is half his. This is half the, the uh, his acting. No, you got to get the you got to get the lip out. Yeah. Look at him go. Mm. Perfect. This is all his expressions. Take that, listening audience. <laughs> um, so it's all the expressions. See, there's a lot of like I'm thinking. I'm a superior actor, but but he, did you notice how like he wasn't a badass soldier? No. Nope. Did you know he had an epic intro the first time we see him? That was awesome. Yeah. That was so, at night with the everyone yeah. lined Watches up and the music. And the, oh, nope. that was so. It good. was well done, but. He was a really lovey, touchy feely, uh, badass king. Yeah, he's like, I love you like a son. I'm gonna kiss you and hug you and put clothes on the back of your your back. You don't have to marry me because you have to. You don't have to do it. Very progressive and feminist. But you can give me a blowjob. <laughs> <and, laughs> you know, what, let's uh, let's uh. You know, it's okay to hit a woman. Ben. I need to bring this. <laughs> that, that's what Sean Connery believes. When you guys yeah. mentioned that scene, I need to bring this up in case no one ever does. You know, Jerry Goldsmith did the score. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what like that's that's another good. That's, that's a, a really great. Good, that's probably the best part. I think Sean it's Connery, really good. Yeah, it's one of those themes that's been stuck in my head oh, since yeah. I first saw it. Do you know who did the? Who, who was the director? The I forgot. Uh, he, he also directed airplanes. Jerry Zucker. I see. I saw the Zucker, and I was like, "Is that the same Zucker?" Yep. Really? What that's else? What crazy. else? What else did he directed that was actually a decent movie? Uh, Airplane was good. Na- was it Naked Gun or? I don't. Believe yeah, so. Naked Gun is one of my top ten. Maybe he did. I'd have to look it up, but yeah, Naked Gun might be like the Zucker com- brothers like a or comedy something. director for a while, so so he's clearly got shots. chops. Yeah. Um, nice speaking man. of comedy and Sean Connery's character, can you play the the why clip? Okay. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Oh, that's our stream. Hold on, Fredo. I knew it was you. <laughs> let's see. Let's go to. Is it? I trusted you or no? Uh, Fish Night Life. There, there we go. Yeah. Play. Why? Why? <laughs> he was driving <laughs> around town with the girl he loved who said, forget you and I forget you too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? No, you got to go even higher. Cause Why? Like, <laughs> it goes to like a squeal almost. Like it was like... Three yeah. levels higher pitched than I would have ever expected. <laughs> you know what it was? It was very. It was, it was a callback to um, uh, Looney Tunes voice. Well, uh, Mel Blank. Mel Blank's like, Quiet! you know, like guy <laughs> screaming. You know, when he did. <laughs> that's it. That, that, that's exactly. One more time for the audience. <laughs> Why? You know what I almost did was uh, in the time I had before the show, I thought about taking that scene and. Taking the Y out and splicing in the Darth Vader. No, funny. That would be funny. Yeah. I. 
Oh, I will geez. say the the production value is, would be sort of my last that, thing to call out. That was a ten out of ten. It was good. It was impressive. Like but the, the set they got for real the castles set and the the mo- I'm assuming they did a model from like the the distance yeah, that view was of very Camelot. Good. It didn't move, so the, um, it was definitely a, it was. Well, I think it actually probably either a model or a, it could be a painting. A map painting. Yeah, but also in, in addition to that. Just the amount of extras they got for everything is like crazy impressive. Like the big battle they had, yeah. that was a lot of freaking people. What about that old dilapidated castle that Malignant was hanging out that in? That was cool. Malignant. 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 I know with the last. Malignant. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I, I was just thoroughly impressed with it. And for a movie that didn't to have, fight, and like all their armor and stuff was pretty good too. Like, it wasn't like uh, super was, yeah. good battle armor, but it looked good. It was, That's what I mean. It was I like guess. it was like and a that everybody. Had it was it. a Calvin Klein. Yeah, <laughs> it was <laughs> armor. <laughs> so, oh, maybe so, Arthur's so, born with it. Yeah, <laughs> but, stylish. It's like half the Calvin table. Klein. Like this is like the Flojos, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just pretty nice. Here. And they all had their like everything great in Camelot. Their one big like. Sh- shoulder shield. This on. will do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll keep your arm from getting cut off. Absolutely, but not this arm. No, and not but, your heart. But you always penis. lead with a certain arm, don't you? That's true. Yeah. Too, unfortunate for the lefties, I guess. I guess. Yeah, because they all the one you can't have one guy with a right a right side shield. It just throws everything. Off. Charlie Lodge, you're a southpaw. <laughs> <laughs> to the dungeon with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sentenced to death. <laughs> um, High treason. <laughs> but we're fair here in uh, Camelot. Aaron won't get this, but I <laughs> loved that Sir Davos was in it. That Sir, was Sir awesome. Davos was his. Is this more Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah. He, was, he, uh, he looked so young in it. He was the uh, he was the one in the scene where uh, the right hand man. He was like his right hand man with the the brown hair that. <laughs> It's saw- really funny when we Sean fucking- Connery catches them kissing. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's yeah. at the door. He's, like, yeah. he's with him, and then he just he's like, like, he's like, fuck, I'm out of here. He's like, like, fuck, I'm out of here, man. I don't want. <laughs> like, he's like, uh, he's like, snap. <laughs> I'm getting oh, out. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> he leaves. Yeah, he's like, stage left, even. I don't want to see this. <laughs> you no, know, that was. That was that made me laugh so hard. I was like, oh fuck. Get out of here. I'm gonna go to the commode. Uh, there's some trouble afoot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that until it was, it was so really good. funny. It's so good. Uh one more uh I'm gonna call it a good, but it it can also be our transition. Can you play the clip of uh I'll be able to tell you which one okay. between the two. So you know is it the wash. abduction or I trusted no, you? No, I trusted you. Yeah. This is so funny. Nice stretching. What's up? I'll ask the question. He didn't ask a question. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's all. That's all <laughs> I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll ask the question. Uh, is okay. <laughs> hey, what time is it? I'll ask the question. <laughs> I just want to hear him say. <laughs> it's just like, hey man, how's it going? <laughs> I'll ask the questions. <laughs> well, he said, "My lord," didn't he? he said, With a lord. question mark at the end. Yes. I'll ask the questions. My lord? Who like, are started? you? My lord. Are you My lord? an imposter? Are you the real? <laughs> will the real King Arthur please stand up? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so are we yes. transitioning into bad now? Yeah, let's do bad. Uh, even though I could argue that everything is good. I Well, we now we have to nitpick. Mm-hmm. And I've got a few. <laughs> this is one of those movies where I just thoroughly enjoyed everything. I, I enjoyed it, but I, can, I'm a, I ain't going to nitpick. I'm gonna, okay. All right. You go first, you then. Go I'll first, go after then. you. All right. Well, one thing that... like Crossbows. The little crossbows, they hate them. We it's are, unrealistic. It's not It's not right for medieval times. <laughs> and what were the dragons? <laughs> 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 no, uh, actually, at this time, Merlin with, would have been in the in into the picture, and um, it's and true. He would have enchanted those crossbows. Well, he wanted. And where was <laughs> Mad Madam Nim? But <laughs> I don't think I the can amulet of Alcazar would have prevented them from getting shot. Well, Archimedes, that owl that talks. <laughs> And, and when are they going to turn to squirrels? I love that part. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> All right. What's your bad? What's, your what's bad? the bad? All right. Um, okay. So one bad uh, movie-wise, it wasn't 
I thought the cinematography was lost. I thought it was not very good cinematography. It was not uh, not great. It You're was right. very it focused. Was, I thought it was. It, 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 I thought it was very, um, very uh, safe uh, studio. Yeah, very like a studio like done movie. It wasn't a very like. Like dynamic, they, they like, didn't well, play around a lot with the no, shots. they didn't. No, and, one thing, I, like one thing, like you said, that awesome badass intro he had, like, give me it could have been a little better. Give me a center shot. Yep. Give me a center shot. They did like like a, a wide angle. center shot, wide wide center shot of that, and don't, like they did like kind of an yeah. angle. Like, Easy, Wes Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, but that would, <laughs> but that would have made, but like right there, that's when the uh, uh, center shot would have been Anderson. made perfect. Blink, blink, blink. It kind of, it kind of, wow. Yeah, well. Ah, uh, but you see that King Arthur was off to the side in that shot to indicate that he was not well balanced. He, he was, was left not complete. Center. That was actually an intentional move by the yeah. director, Ben. But there Jerry Zucker, there a lot of, classic uh, filmmaker yeah. from Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> no, the locations were good. They were very good. Yeah, very they were all. I looked them up. There were most. There was one in Mexico. I forget what it was, but the rest of them were in the uh, Mexico. Yeah, somewhere in Mexico. Whoa. Okay. But the rest, all the rest of them, like there was one. I don't know what was shot in Mexico. Mexico didn't say, but. Pretty much all the other scene, uh, scenes, exterior, were shot in in the UK somewhere. It's mostly Wales, I think, in some in some places. Wales, yes, yes. They swim Coast on both home. sides. Um, that was because the cinematography was a, like a an ugly in terms of like, God, they had missed opportunities with those wonderful sets and yeah. Uh, thing. Now it, it wasn't terrible. It was just like eh. it didn't take yeah. advantage of what it had. No, no, no. especially like the music it had. Yes. Uh, what was another bad? Um, I thought King like at the end when he just brought the knee and he goes fight, fight, fight. That was bad. What? That was badly done at like, the end. It was so stupid. Like yeah, it, it was yeah. not something befitting of King it was, Arthur. No, it, was, it, was, it was very was... much like a a psych. Like <laughs> basically, when I saw that, I was basically thinking Sean Connery just went shake, go get exactly, him. Exactly. <laughs> well, he he exactly. had just. He should have went up and killed him. You know? It pissed me off because he had just got done saying, my people are not unarmed. Now let's fight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, and his, people, up. Was who, his people who just decimate the fight, the soldiers. Yeah. All these townspeople. The with your peasants. The, yeah, the townspeople with no weapons like with them, unless they're just they're all packing at all times. <laughs> they just totally, like, so here's, here's the progression. Not only is there a... A whole castle with fortifications and supposedly guards protecting it that Malaga and all of his people Malaga. overcome to ambush them during this this trial in, in the public fashion. square. Like they just they like, oh, we got through your reinforcements. But then it's like, fight them townspeople with no weapons, and then it's like done. Like yeah. okay, you get it. just overwhelmed thought, and they're pushed out of the Didn't you guys think it ended like a Saturday Night Live skit? Like it just, yeah, just like, it, we got to wrap this up. We didn't have to do it. We're coming up on a commercial. Guy. Oh, here we go. Hey. Like, because you see, like, you see in the middle of the fight, you know, these badass knights, like, going at it yeah. and get stabbed. And then after the the, the bad out, badass good knights get stabbed, uh, a peasant kills the bad guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of, like, and go, eh, In eh. that scene in particular, I have a bad. Run away, run away. I hate in movies where you have a big fight scene going on. But two of the main characters will square off, and everybody else will just ignore them. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why didn't they I get been, shot? I kind of hate that too. Did you right. like Game of Thrones? Because that doesn't happen in Game of Thrones. Thank God. I think he needs to watch it. I. Uh, my God. Should we, we just cult start watching Game Just of ease off my ass. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> wax it tonight. As part of that, <laughs> I actually had some of this in the ugly, but we can talk about that whole scene because it was pretty bad. The. Uh, how about the part where Malagant has him like I think he's on the ground and he goes to stab he does and the he jumping just, like, stab whiffs it's, 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 like, like, complete what? whiff yeah. you just but, totally no, missed yeah. like really bad <laughs> like, it's, it's like he wasn't moving he he's didn't move thrown on the ground with, and no escape and you just miss he's like well he moved and then a let him get up he, he's like well I anticipated him to move that way <laughs> you know uh, I was the, leading uh, I was, uh, the, the wind <laughs> <laughs> it threw me off uh, those peasants beating up my soldiers. Uh, but then <laughs> apparently he was distracted. Lancelot, uh, after he gets injured, somehow he got injured. I don't know when. But that, then all of a sudden he gets mal because he was fighting another guy and then turns around and then yeah, gets. And he, the, by the way, we're fighting. Stabbed. Yeah. Hey, back here, bud. Over here. Let's. We're fighting. Eyes up here. Um, then he gets like superpowers and goes like, 
Because <laughs> like ultra Lancelot. Because he, he, he had stopped Excalibur. caring whether he was going to die. Was that Excalibur? I wrote it was Excalibur. His, question. They didn't mark? tell. They didn't say it was Excalibur. That's okay. what I assumed. It was the one and future king. Well, it was him going back to not caring whether he lived or died. They set that up. What's Remember? the rule with Excalibur? I don't think there is one in this movie. Because, like, I don't it's not it's like Excalibur. Thor's hammer, right? No. I'm, this is not even related to the, the rule, movie. I but guess like, the rule, the rule. If, once somebody pulls it out, can then anybody, like, use yeah, it and it's know. magic? He is called Lancelot. Um, mm, he lands any any sword. Yeah, maybe he, he wanted to lance maybe, uh, yeah. Guinevere oh, quite a lot. Okay. <laughs> you want to stroke my That's a good sword. segue into my bad. Yeah, keep going. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. My actual, my big bad. Um... Lancelot as a character. Oh, he was my ugly. So let's go ahead and talk. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just? Uh, well, I'll just. No, I'll, no, I'll no. make this my bad. I, I'll, I'll I'll narrow it in scope. Okay. Um, Lancelot had. Um, he was like a dog that didn't mm-hmm. quite know what it wanted. Yeah. So Guinevere's <laughs> over <laughs> here, and then King Arthur's over here. And it's like ball, 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 ball. And he also he couldn't decide which just one he wanted. Hump everything. Too, <laughs> yes. It seemed like. It's like, oh, I'm I'm loyal to you, King. By the way, I want to bone your wife, but I'll still be loyal. I'm to I'm gonna you. kiss you before yeah. you get married. Yeah, yeah. So just pick pick one, bro. Yeah, before he, uh, you get married. Before you get married. <laughs> you his, uh, they ex- and they also had to like exposit his his entire motivate like his entire character at the start in like the most shitty way, like during that scrolling. Uh, uh, prelude uh, text yeah. at the start and then there was Lancelot this is literally what it said and yeah. then there was Lancelot a wanderer who never dreamed of peace or justice or knighthood like he just in my mind that comes off as like and then there was Lancelot a guy who was a knight that didn't give a shit about anybody <laughs> <laughs> he never dreamed that anybody would be better or would be held accountable for anything or would strive for something greater than themselves perfect exposition <laughs> All right. <laughs> Exposition. And then there was Maud. Exposition. And then there was Maud. <laughs> Exposition. Exposition. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, Exposition. That's he kind of came off as uh, as rapey too, at the especially yeah. at the start, like respectfully rapey. I can tell when a woman wants me. Like that's a literal. This line is old England. Says. I can do what I want. He hey, was, fella, he, step okay. off. In a time where pretty much everybody was pretty rapey, uh, he was really respectful. (laughs) He was the respectful rape. He was (laughs) peace-like. For that time, he was practically a feminist. Uh. (laughs) Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to sort through. Because remember, they set up the whole "you have to ask me." Oh yeah, Yeah. that's true. That's true. He showed some honor. He's like, I will not kiss a. And he waits until she asks him, and then he does it. Ask. That's not him. He just he, he so just it's speaks rapey, like in a normal but accent. respectfully rapey. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> hold on. I've got two scenes that I'll save for the ugly. I'm trying to see if there's any other like really really bad Lancelot. Oh the, it really wasn't a Lancelot arc, but like the fact that they pulled pulled the um, pulled back on the the barred in church. Uh huh. I wish. <laughs> It sounds bad, but I wish that that church would have burned down with the people inside <laughs> to make it a little more impactful. A little more like a little more morbid, like gut wrenching. Like get this was the a feel good movie, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it kind of was. was. Yeah, feel good nineties movie. I don't um, know if I was King Arthur on my deathbed and and like in the, in that point, if if Lancelot and Guinevere were on either side of me, I'm like, oh, you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> You're both cunt. I don't feel this is not a very good feel good movie for me. Can I get Sir Davos in here? <laughs> um, He's the only one that was. The, uh, why did, uh, this isn't really an ugly, but why did Lancelot, like, get to be the first knight? Because he was cool. He was cool. a dick the whole time. And it's not like because Arthur he... saw him kill, I guess you could, ex- like, make the assumption that uh, Sean Connery just assumes that because he's running up to him that he alone killed uh, Maligant, but like why would he turn it over to Lancelot? Like, he's not honorable at all, right? Uh, I guess he showed it in the trial. Like, uh, I'll sacrifice myself, but... He has bits and pieces where he sucks, but he, he kind of tries to make up for it. Okay. He tries, I guess. Okay. 
It's um, it's really half-assed trying, but he does. He's got those beady little eyes. <laughs> Um, I have two scenes I'm going to say, but the last thing I'm going to point out is that their plan to trick Maligan's army with the like scarecrow people and the fake sight. That was a bad? That's a huge bad for me. Why? (laughs) They spent so much time like... Yes, make it realistic. That would take so more the, than an evening. Yeah, to that set would up. take so long to set up, and then they immediately, immediately give away their position. Like, what did yeah. that serve? They they shot one round of arrows. Let's say it killed at best people. one tenth of the army, but then they just stop shooting arrows and charge in. Well, if I was going to like, charge, how about my just like in. keep firing until they like realize where you are. I, well, the only bad I had with that scene, in particular, I, I actually scoffed out loud. <laughs> yeah, what, can me. we get an example of that? <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fine. Here's my thing. <laughs> when when uh, Arthur says to set up camp, over there, like he says, and the... Um, there. It's Werewolf. like two hours later, and they have all these elaborate tents set up. He's like, and it looks like they've been there for weeks. Yeah, you're right. You're like, I want me to look like I'm drinking something. <laughs> well, I'm up here. Take your time. <laughs> Do it just right. These were expertly done, uh, yes. scarecrow men. They were. Perhaps that's just how Camelot ran those days. They were really good at scarecrows. It's Stan, true. You should see. I started at the Stan Winston School. <laughs> 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 Taught Mr. Winston everything he knows. Effect. Everything he knows. Um, Who do you think came up with the idea with the predator? <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> In my straw hat. <laughs> I thought, I need a creature with mandibles. <laughs> uh, like dreadlocks. Mandibles. Like a mandibles. That's a funny word for him to say. <laughs> um, mandibles. Let's... Uh, Okay, let's yeah. go to the ugly. Okay. I think we're ready. Whoop, yeah. whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't have a whip sound. Um, basically, <laughs> that's Lancelot. <laughs> that's the ugly. <laughs> but I mean, speaking of Lancelot, uh, you're just as a character? No, not just the character. He's got no British accent. Yeah. Well, He's he was just as bad about accents as Connery was. Yes, but. We can get away with he, that. Yeah, he fits, though. Like, he's doing... Like, he could even probably do, like, a bad French accent, and I'd probably be like, okay, yeah. Maybe there is a bad French accent. Like, somebody from France who was there. Okay, I sure. don't know, but he plays... The a, fact that somebody does, like, a true... Amer- like, not even trying American you know, accent. You, do you know what accent he does the best? The perfect Russian submarine captain. Like, perfect. <laughs> Are you sure? Is, we're going to do Are that. Are you certain? <laughs> yeah. I know that's in your back box. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect... You sink the ship. Um, let's talk okay, about chess. Let's talk about the gauntlet. Okay, <laughs> good <laughs> concept. The Rube Goldberg the gauntlet. Uh, gauntlet. <laughs> because I, I would wager anybody who's seen uh, Hercules, American Ninja Warrior, yeah. is probably like, <laughs> oh my fucking god! Like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, That's like child's play up there. Yeah. You, you well, you realize the first time I saw this movie, there was no such thing as American Ninja Warrior That's or true. Ninja Warriors. So and how would that when I was running? like, I don't know, I was probably seven when this came out. And I thought it was cool. Seven, the gauntlet. Yeah, that nobody has ever beaten before. <laughs> it did, yeah, that first part. <laughs> you know why? Because it's rigged. This is why it's rigged because everybody has to wear those fat costumes. The padding, and you can't you can't fit through certain things like in between things. Oh, so it's so you're saying it was an advantage. It was a rig. not like a bravery thing. No, it was you just must like not care if you live or die. <laughs> I don't, well, and I've got good. I have no family, nothing, and I don't believe in churches. I've got nobody. Scotland is free. <laughs> um, it was kind of like uh, a double-edged sword. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, the, wow, uh, yeah. The padding was like, oh, you got to get the padding on, man. And not it was you, like, not like that, idiot. Like, <laughs> the padding's going to save you from the knives ch- sharply jutting up at your dick. Like, that's not going to help you. Know you. I would, you know what? You, you know, you know, <laughs> the axes, so like, maybe the, like, beanbag swinging at your face. Yeah, that might help. But the, the knife swinging at your face, like, I don't think the padding's going to help you there. No, but you know, you know what's funny? The, the, the one, the knives, the, the, right, I envision, like... I envision like if they if they moved the camera, like you can see people like with swords <laughs> going up yeah. like this. 
pull. Yeah. Synchronicity. <laughs> 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 Boy, he's working my glutes. <laughs> Those hunt your glutes, you fool. <laughs> Those guys get like points for like yeah. maiming somebody. <laughs> I got him! I got him! You messed up the synchronicity, though. So, uh. Synchronicity? It's hard to do. Sick. So not only was this like. <laughs> Today, Junior. <laughs> the, the gauntlet contraption <laughs> was you, like. Aaron. Stage lefty. Go on! The, Matt. <laughs> the gauntlet contraption was. Why?! <laughs> <laughs> play it. Play the sound effect. I, oh, okay. One moment. You just keep talking, and, and I'll play it. Um, keep talking. So what? the gauntlet contraption. No, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there we are. That was good timing. I'll play it again. Um, the uh, what? keep talking. Gauntlet contraption. <laughs> Um, not only did that kind of spearhead Lancelot having a reason to be in the story at all, like, oh, you, you passed the test. You must be worth something. Uh, I'm going to invite you to the round table now. Like, okay. Mm, uh, mm. The round actually, table. Did, that's, that's unfair, actually. They actually were pretty good about pacing out stuff like that. Yeah, 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 at first he just wanted him to stay there. Yeah, he was just like, hey, you should, you should hang around here, man. He asked him to be the, the, one of the knights after he saved Guinevere for the second time. That's right, yeah. Yeah, they actually did a they did a pretty good job with that kind of thing. And also she didn't immediately just give in to him either. Uh yeah. After a while it became kind of like, "All right, we kind of get it." Like um well, she was she should have been killed too. <laughs> Kill her off. So like, just say no. It's like it's like this no. Buy a lot. Nothing's worth that. Nothing's worth that bull crap. I, I what do you mean? Well, if you watch Star Trek, then you don't need love. (laughs) (laughs) Don't need money either. Girlfriends are for suckers anyway. (laughs) (laughs) They just that's what my mom says. I I don't. You always want to get fudge. I don't think the 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 Guinevere Lancelot progression it. It, it was a little real. abrupt in like yeah. one yeah. place. Yeah, kind of was. It it really relied on him rescuing her, which is a weird way to sort of generate romance. And I, there, there was a lot finer woman in the, in the kingdom. Oh, get off! Than just her. Get don't even get Are out of my house. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. Guinevere can Guinevere over there. <laughs> <laughs> nice, her. really? Oh, yeah, she's. You're, I am a fan. I, yeah, I'm with Aaron. That's kind of. That's know. really weird that you. I just don't like her cheekbones. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's what women look like without makeup, um, Junior. Junior. I've seen women without junior. makeup. Junior, oh, the prettiest woman I know. That's what they look she like was without beautiful. makeup, Junior. Um, Pro so, tip: if they're if they're making a point that they're not wearing makeup, they're wearing a little bit. No, <laughs> I looked. <laughs> I was this close to them. See, look at this. This close. Mm. I saw no foundation or anything like it. I don't know where I'm going. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I've lost the uh, marbles. Just to finish up the gauntlet thing for the love of God. Sorry. So the reward for, for winning the gauntlet was a kiss from the lady? Yeah. Uh, but they just decided to marry. So what? No, they haven't what, married yet. Right, but like what before she was even in the picture when he was single, what's the reward that you to got me, to kiss him? No, no, <laughs> no, you got to kiss his, his pucker up, kiss my spike, and you kiss, know, kiss, kiss my Sean Connery. The spike. only reason they agreed to that is because they were like, no one will ever do this, you yeah. know, no one will ever beat the gun. No one could ever beat this. Don't Rube waste Goldberg bad fruit or... on bad uh, poor rhetoric. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Gilbert. <laughs> Brother Gilbert. <laughs> the Callback. Uh, we needed him in this movie. He was so, a more interesting as Sir, Sir Lancelot. I have one big sequence of ugly. What, uh, what else it, that we can get to? Did you guys have anything else? Well, mine was the, the Guinevere progression. Like, she's yeah. super cold to him until, like, one moment after he saves the second time. And all of a sudden, she's like, oh, I need you. Ooh, rainwater and a leaf. Oh, oh I've suddenly changed my mind. I mean, that happens, but... Do you I've think he spiked that rainwater? Maybe. He might, he might have some ecstasy in there. Lemonly fresh. But then again, when you save someone's life, I've heard that there's a real thing where you... you it's like a transference thing. Stockholm Psychologically. Syndrome. No, Stockholm is where you hurt them and they love you. Oh. Yes. 
But it's, you know, it's akin hurt to that. Me. Hurt me, Aaron. Uh, hurt me. Yeah, I agree. I, I 100% agree. Especially with, because I felt like the scope of her, they did a decent job realistically of like, I'm going to reject you, reject you, reject you. But then, like, in order to make Lancelot feel more kind of, they just gave him like four or five opportunities to to use he his jumped his off a power, tower. his his bravery, I guess, or just his um, his badassery. Yeah, to influence mm-hmm. her uh, love of him, and also he's like, I wrote down the ages of the actors. Okay, at the time of this, how old do you think? I've got the three main characters: Sean okay. Connery. Right? How old do you think uh, Guinevere was at the time of this movie? I think in her 30s. Aaron? Um, no, wait, maybe 25. Did, did, you've made your final answer. No, 25. 25 oh, major. my God. 25? Yeah. I was going to guess 27. I agree with you guys. I thought she she looked pretty damn young. She was 30. Okay, so I was, okay, I was right. So you were, yeah, you, you, Dang you it. took back your answer. You're still wrong. How old do you think Richard Gere was? In his 40s. Uh, yeah, probably 40s. He was 45. Yeah. How old Sean do you Connery think Sean Connery was? 62. Was? He was in his 60s, probably. He was 64. Oh. And he's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's still alive. Oh, I will never die. Um, the world is not enough. Basically, they ended up playing up the, like, Sean Connery, you're pretty fucking old. <laughs> like that, that ultimately like succumbed to. <laughs> you're an old man, okay? Like, why don't you look at me like you look at him? Well, you are uh, wearing depends under that armor. Hey, and, now uh, some ladies and you're like impotent. The older men. <laughs> you're impotent, and they don't make Viagra here in like medieval times. For a while, there, I really thought they were like really of avoid- why. <laughs> I thought they were avoiding like having them kiss at all, because like for the first like hour of the movie, he was gonna call on us. For the first hour of the movie, he basically like kept kissing her hand. <laughs> and yeah. It was like, what's going on here? And then, like really abruptly, they made out for a second, Mr. and it was Joker. like, whoa, that's kind of weird. Mr. Mr. J, <laughs> give me coke. <laughs> ben, did you have another ugly before we get to like my long rambling one? Um. Okay, I thought the flashback sequence was like if his little kid was really lame. It wasn't really well kinda done. Kind of out of out of place, or no. just, it could have been done better. Just kind of like mother, father, yeah. you're burning alive. You know, <laughs> but, it, but that was better. <laughs> <laughs> father, mother. Um, I thought it was out of place too. Uh, I thought that was an ugly how like she didn't know. Um. I thought, um, could we say a good was the actor play Gavin, uh, um, Magnolent, Maleficent, (laughs) Mary Magdalene, Malignant, (laughs) Maligant, Maligant, Maligant. Um, (laughs) he was all right. He was, I hated that character actually. Well, of course you do. (laughs) I hate it. Like, not in like a you're evil and a villain and, Furthering the plot in a specific way, I just didn't think he was very well done. Yeah, I, I thought the whole. I thought uh, I want the kingdom and I want to be the law and the order and blah 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 and, and yeah. fairness is stupid. Right? Although, can I can I say there's one scene of him that I I really like. I don't really like him that much. I just don't hate him. Yeah. But there's the scene where they're in his castle and yep. the princess is, yep. or in the the queen's <laughs> dress is ripped. He's like, "Did you do this?" Then he backhands yeah. the guy yeah, as hard as he can. <laughs> Saw it. That wasn't a bitch slap. That would have taken some teeth out. Yeah. Okay. There was one ugly that I want to mention. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Because I think we're on the same page. Okay. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. This is probably well, obscure. Get on with it. It was a missed opportunity, Aaron, and I don't think it was used in this movie at all. Oh. But it sounded so. St- first of all, when he pushes the guy into that endless pit the first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! It's like ah, the way he screams. Blue goes. screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> You know what they needed to use there? Like the, the I Wilhelm was waiting for the Wilhelm needed to be there. Ah! You know, like like it was a missed opportunity. Look, I'm a sound guy. I don't see the obsession with the Wilhelm scream. I I think it's okay. I just don't 
agree with putting it in everything just yeah, to put it in. Yeah, it's kind of like it's lazy. distracting. It comes off as lazy. Like I, everybody find knows exactly else. what it sounds like. Yeah, but, and it, so, but I was waiting for it there. <laughs> that, that was, well, you didn't get it. They trained me like Pavlov dog. I just drool. <laughs> I just <laughs> drool. <laughs> it's distracting Stop ringing for the bell, me. damn it! <laughs> Some people. Like, Why? <laughs> some movies use like the same sound effects for everything, and it always takes me out of the movie. Your neighbor's gonna call on us. But... Yeah, the eight. Well, these walls are pretty thick. We're good. We're good. Um, so let's talk about sort of the the whole progression to the castle and through that whole scene, and starting with the last clip that I had. Ah, the last clip with the uh, kidnapping. The first kidnapping. Like, <laughs> this is like one of the craziest. Craziest uh, kidnapping scenes. Yeah, this. Here, is I'll it. full screen it. Yeah, no. Full sc- yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll full screen it. You're blowing everything. Boys in dark. Jacob, Jacob's here. Oh no! Bring out your dad. Yeah, they they kind of fell for a pretty old trick. An old trick. All right, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Just a guy who so, is not what he me- so, uh, seems to uh, be. So there's a boat coming up, and oh, it's Jacob. It's Jacob from my hometown. Why, yeah, why don't they put Jacob? Why didn't Jacob come up to her? You mean Jacob. it's not Jacob? Just I know, I know, but like they're not gonna like they should have a better screening process. Yeah, yeah. He oh, was he was not uh, vetted oh, very well. Jacob. Okay, let me go down, unguarded, and okay. Oh, there you are. There was a lot of parts in this movie where the queen was in places Jacob? she shouldn't be. Look at all these guards. Is someone filming this with, on their TV? Well, Jacob, no. gotcha. It's a KK. Where did all these guys come from? They were just chilling. holding their breath. Look, they have they're the green beret knights. Yeah. Leave them alone. If they have tiny crossbows, they have like snorkels too. Okay. We make a we make a lot of references to snorkels. Look like, this. That's a cool stuff. I want some head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Lord is gonna be good with her. I may go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it, guys. Thank God. Base. Thank God. There's a. There's a. <laughs> under the shirt. Got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there's a rope pulling, like, that he can hang on to as well as... I thought that the, the, the whole having the rope drag them through the water really fast was a cool concept. It was, but, but he was faster than the ship that reached the rope drag. What? Because that thing was going... So. Basically, like... All right. Oh, so that's right. He caught up a little too easily. We're we're saying that the snorkel... They had snorkels, right? Yeah. We just had to... We have to admit that there were snorkels and nobody saw them the entire... Way over. Maybe they trained themselves to hold their breath. I mean, it's all that them. whole lake. Yes. Why can't yeah. you dislike things and not criticize things? Don't man. criticize them, man. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm yeah. Donald Duck doesn't wear freaking pants, and you don't say anything about that. I'm, on, I'm the negative Nancy on all the podcasts. No, I'm with you. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> the Game of Thrones, I'm the negative Nancy. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I thought there's a lot of problems with this. What is this motivation? What is this plan here? Uh, speaking of what, Why can't you just uh, like the apple? Somebody throw a pie. Uh, speaking of which, um, that's good. That's good. We're switching back. The uh, she, I don't know. I looked away. Did she tear her dress and throw yeah, like, she her took fabric? A piece of it yeah, off like to put it in oh, a tree. good thing Lancelot like saw this little fabric and, and I don't think they ever go back to that. It's just there. You're right. No, they do. They show they it. Do? They do. Lancelot. They show the fabric, and Lancelot sees the fabric, and then he travels like miles. I watched this yesterday. Like if she throws it at the point of like when she was just kidnapped, but, and then they travel like who knows how many miles after that, yeah. and he knows the trail. You're right. Like, You're right. Your one breadcrumb doesn't help. No. Like you need a trail of them in order to follow it. They should have got so much trash. They should have. But did, but did you did you know there was a deleted scene I found uh, Ooh. of him then t- with the taking research. the fabric and snurking it for like an hour? Really? No. He's like a no, scent no, dog. No, 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 no. Like, oh, I want this queen. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to kiss. Ooh. Uh, creepy Lancelot. <laughs> so how Smells did he see like it? Woman. How did he see it? And then when he shows up, I actually loved his plan to pretend to be a messenger because, mm-hmm. like, he knows that they would have no idea who he is. The king would realistically send a messenger to play that up. But then it's like, I'm going to rescue you, and then that's it. Like, he, how he are you going to get out plan. of this situation? That's his character. He never has a plan. They're going to converge yeah. on you. He You're in a hip all the time. A dead end, dude. He's Han Solo. Yes. No, I, I don't. I wasn't. Compl- I have no problem. That wasn't with that. ugly. Oh, You're being a negative, Nancy. Are yep. you, are you kidding I, me, Matt? Matt. Matt he that follows is, the stream. That this is, is consistent his with his character. It's like the water is leaving, so we. He doesn't give a damn. 
Uh, he doesn't give a damn. Huh? Huh? Hey. No damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a damn. It was a waterfall. This guy. The old waterfall escape. The old. Classic. The old uh, fugitive. <laughs> Jumping. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> He jumps out. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, that was that was my only other ugly. I think. Uh, hmm, I'm trying to remember. Although I think it's worth repeating the fucking rain water thing. It's I I got I got to say the most my, crazy. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I got I got yeah I got to say what, even though you guys liked the fashion choice, I think that was my ugly fashion. Really? Choice. Yeah, the armor. Like the the medieval, I like, liked it. The I costumes it. just weren't. It was simplified to me. It was, but I love like you know, especially from, coming from Game of Thrones, you know, where it's like really elaborate, like more like it just felt That's real. True. It felt like a used real thing. Everything else felt felt like like the purple was a cool color, but like like I mean, like you have like. You know Jamie Lannister's armor that he purple. walks around. That's awesome. It like, was, there was, it was real, more blue. But the armor I was looked really say good. It was pretty blue to me. It was purple. What? It was the dress blue. is blue and black. <laughs> wasn't he? Wasn't John Connery wearing purple? No. I'm pretty sure all the knights of the Round Table were wearing blue. It was a pretty navy blue. It was like blue. pink really? or not? So he's wearing purple pink, there. Pink blue. It's like bright blue. Almost. Oh, I gotta Get calibrate my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> that's purple. No, that's blue. That's purple. It's what blue. the hell? Hold this, on. All right. Hold on. Anybody watching or that's listening, purple. you he's need to go. That's blue. That's that is purple. Blue. It is blue. Anybody watching or listening, we, we should put up a poll. Figure out how to do a Facebook poll. Remake Dragonheart. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so I think we've talked about this quite enough, though. We're just discussing the, the color the color of the, the uniform. I'm going to zoom in um, on that thing. What? Web. No. I, yeah, go find it. Go find it. We're, we're going to so Okay, I'm going to so keep ben, the camera on you, man. Would you... Um, <laughs> Would you recommend somebody go see this movie? I mean, if you're flipping through cable. Yeah. I used to so watch you, this movie so on you repeat. Would, so that is your stance. You think this is that much better than Dragonheart? Oh, no. Or that much worse than Dragonheart, sorry. Oh, yeah. Are you saying that this is purple? Interesting. Yeah, that's purple. No, it's blue. What the hell are you talking about? That looks blue. <laughs> it was, yeah, it's blue. There you go. It's kind of got a little purple in the it. Dress it's blue. navy dark the blue. The pen is blue. <laughs> Can someone? What's that from? Yeah. <laughs> so irrelevant. What do you know, Aaron? No, I don't. Liar, liar. That's right. The oh, pen is blue. I haven't pen seen that in so long. We should review that someday. Yeah. Uh, so you would just watch it if it was on cable. It's not worth going out of your way. No. Yeah. You don't understand. You, I had the VHS. Yeah. And I, I wore it like a... out. You Dragon Heart is far superior. It. Dragon Heart it's a far superior movie. Really? I oh, saw yeah, them on pretty clearly. equal terms when I was a kid. What did you think between Dragon Heart and this, Aaron? They came around the same time, didn't they? Uh, Dragon Heart was like a year later. Back to back, yeah. For Sean Connery. Wow. I don't know which one I like better. They're pretty evenly stacked for me. Hmm. I mean, Dragon Heart is probably the more solid movie, but there's a lot of stuff in this one that I really like too. You like Maybe Dragon that's Heart better. Yeah. What the hell? Like I think I liked it, but like Dennis Quaid was way worse than oh, Richard Gere. Oh no, Gere. Dennis Quaid was more interesting than he Richard was at Gere. least funny. He yeah, he, 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 he was interesting. He's more charismatic. Now Richard Gere is handsome. I'll give you that. But Dennis Quaid is a better. <laughs> Thank you He's for the so argument dreamy. I didn't make. <laughs> Dennis, Den, like Richard Gere is a boring actor. He kind of is boring. I like him in this movie. This is the only movie I like. I him like in. him in Chicago. Um, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, we that's talked about that earlier today. But, he, okay, I'll, I'll try to give you my, my objective analysis here. Okay, okay. I like First Night better only because it's the one that stuck in my mind. That's that's the, the nostalgia glasses going. Mm. That's the one that it stayed with me more for some reason, and I haven't thought about it too hard. I like Dragonheart better, not because of nostalgia glasses. You're right. No, you're just... right. Dragonheart has a more unique story. Of course. 100%. Even with like, oh, it's a talking dragon. Who cares? But like, even then, what they did with it was more original. Yeah. The Whereas this, is... uh, what do you call it? Uh, doing the the team up thing. Yes. One. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that was. This cool. felt more in the heart. Like, uh, this felt more like traditional medieval. Yeah. Love triangle. Whatever. Nothing wrong. Just and it not felt more original. studio driven. 
It yeah. felt more like a studio. Um, I agree. I think just like Dragonheart, I wouldn't go out of my way to see it, but it's still really fun. Super fun. I'm going to step on your yeah, toes here. Fun. I would go out of my way to see it. Boom. I went out of my way to see it for this podcast. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. so take that. $3 for this. You paid $3? What $3? Ronald uh, <laughs> <Ronald Reagan. laughs> Very nice. <laughs> the actor? Back to the Future? Oh, there you go. Okay. Sorry. What? Who's the I'm, Secretary I'm the of Defense? Page. Jerry Lewis? Um, how much do you guys think this movie costs Too to soon. make? Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I think it's a lot. I think it had to be... Uh, it costs a lot? Yeah. It was more than Dragonheart, and I think it was probably... Mm, ah, shoot, I don't have my notes from Dragonheart. 60 mil? 25. Wow. Big split. Ben is almost spot on. 55. Wow. Hmm. But How much he, do you think it made? But you wouldn't win the showcase. I Well... Huh. <laughs> I thought it made its money back, probably. I think it made uh, double. I don't know. Made double back? So how much do you think it made? No, I'm going to say 90 mil. 90, okay. Aaron? 60. Aaron, you do not have a gauge for this whatsoever. I'm sorry. You're also kind of off. 127. So million. I was, I was, my original gut was right. I'm not good at adjusting dollars from 20 years say. ago. Well, you, when you said it's going to make its money back, I thought you thought it was going to break even. No, but I said it was going to double. I said, yeah, oh, yeah but that's what I, I freaked out when you said make its money back. Then you back. freaked well, out. I was like, double really? 55. Said, Did yeah. you say 55? That's pretty close. Yeah, you were on, you know, your original, I was gonna, your guess of double was spot on. Your guess of make its money back was not. Okay. Maybe I just I, I can't read your gate. I'm just gonna say what I think. Go with it. I'm trapped in this mode of thought where uh, it's not even necessarily true. I'm just used to the idea of movies not making multiple hundreds of millions of dollars until like ten years later. Yeah, you know? I think it made nine. Like it Titanic was the first later. one to be like over a billion, right? What was it, Titanic? Yeah. 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 I'm I was to used to movies like, and, and money was worth more then. I'm trying to do a dollar inflation right. adjustments, and you guys are over here telling me I'm stupid. What is the infl inflation of a dollar since 1996? And now yeah. I don't know. You got a phone. I don't know. I have to look it up. Actually, well, <laughs> carry the three. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about the other stuff we're doing. Let's uh, talk about sharks. economics. Uh, what's going on with Game Sharks? You guys have been doing a crap ton of stuff lately. Oh yeah, we've been busy. Um, I've been playing Zelda with somebody. Ben and I have been doing Mario Three Mix, and uh, I think this week we're going to give Mario a rest and play. A Japanese only game called Kid Dracula. I'm so happy. I'm so psyched for Kid Dracula. I, I've no I've no I know nothing about it other than the like little details, Aaron's It's a spin off of Castlevania, pretty much. Yeah. I'm oh. pretty psyched. It's pretty good. Did they make a count chocolate game? No. But they should have. I'm hungry. There was a Noid game. <laughs> if we got the Noid game, why didn't we get the Count Chocula game? That's Come true, on. the Noid game. It's man. not very good. <laughs> it's not, but I remember renting it as a kid. Yes. What a wasted rental that you. was. Uh, you yeah. only get so many. You want to talk wasted rentals? I rented Mario is Missing. Oh, me too. It oh. was like, what is this? Oh. I don't want to learn anything. <laughs> My God. Kill me Mario now. Missing? Uh, no, I didn't play any of the games you guys play. All right, first night. <laughs> first night, everybody. Yeah, first night. All right. Yeah. So uh, go check out Game Sharks for sure. It's really, it's really fun. Remake uh, and Dragon. They have stuff Heart. almost every day. So. Um, and if you haven't seen Dragon, Heart. yeah, remake Dragon. Heart. No more Game of Thrones, unfortunately. Uh, especially Sunday. I don't know what we're gonna do. If we'll pick up a second, maybe once new TV. We got new TV stuff coming. Soon, we need a little so. break because we got it. Gonna it's come a up. lot. Well, uh, New TV it's stuff? in two weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. the movie. Um, I think we're gonna do Death Note next week. Death yes. Note, um, which will be fun, and hopefully we can have Jake on, who's like me, watched the original series, um, oh. which is something we almost never. Bunch of nerds, have. eh? Yeah, uh, the original series was uh, much better than the film, uh, which I haven't seen yet. <laughs> yeah, so. um, Could so we, yeah we got some face content. Of but, disbelief. Yeah. yeah. So check all that out and tune in next week. Okay. Same bad time. I, think I will. Same bad channel. <laughs> ah. No! <laughs> what?